Hey guys, Thunder E here, and yes, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is finally here. And we've been waiting for this device. We've seen leaks. There are also a ton of videos out there today. But this video is going to show you five key features that help set this device apart from everything else. Now we know the Note 20 Ultra packs a ton of features. The Snapdragon 865 Plus processor, the best Android processor on the land, 12 gigabytes of RAM, uh, you also have storage of 120 or 512 gigabytes of storage, and of course, uh, a terabyte with micro SD expansion. Now, this is also coupled with a 4500 milliamp battery, but it's not those features. The very first feature I'm gonna talk about is the display. This is a 6.9 inch display, it's also a 2K display, 120 hertz, and it's also an LTPO display. You're going, what is LTPO? This is actually a low temperature polycrystalline oxidized display. What this means is that this display does well at, of course, uh, a lower power rating so that you can maximize and get the best battery life out of that 4500 milliamp battery. Now, um, what this also means is this is an adaptive display, which means that when you're reading a magazine, it goes at about 10 hertz. When you are watching a movie, it's at 24 hertz. And when you're gaming, you can go all the way to 120 hertz, uh, which is actually really cool and really nice that you can actually do this. Plus, the touch sample rate is 240 hertz. So it's a high touch sample rate. It means uh, you're gonna feel very smooth motion when using this display. And it's also one of the first devices to have Gorilla Glass 7 on the front and the back of the device, so which means you are you have the best protection for your 120 hertz display altogether. Now, the second key feature is the S Pen. We know the S Pen is mighty and it's one of the best features of the Galaxy Note series. Now, the S Pen on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is even better. It's got a faster response time at nine milliseconds, probably one of the fastest right now, as similar to what you have with the Apple Pencil, uh, but it also have, comes with a ton of new features. And some of those features include uh, things you can do with S notes. So you can go in and you can import PDFs now and also take make annotations to those PDFs, which is great. You've got the ability to also uh, sync across all your Samsung devices that of course support S note and you can work in collaboration with other people. Now, the other cool thing here is you have the ability to jot down um, your notes and also memos at the same time. What's really cool about this is that when you play back the memos, uh, the voice memos, the voice memos can match your text that is writing. So it matches what you're doing there, or you can use it in a mixed match fashion any way you want to. Plus, they are brand new gestures for the S brand, including going home, back, screen capture, and much more. So it gives you just more mobility to do what you do best with this device, and which is of course using the S Pen. Now, the third feature has to do with the microphones, especially when you're recording off those brand new cameras. Now, you've got a couple of new microphone options in the pro camera setting, which gives you the ability to go into an omni mode using to the front or the rear mics, or you can select the mics you want to use, either the front mic or the rear mic. They added the option of using the USB microphone, plus now the ability to record directly from your earbuds uh, using Bluetooth connectivity for a Bluetooth mic, or in this case, you can also use the Galaxy Buds Live to use the microphones there to capture the best sound coming from you while recording. It's absolutely great, love this feature, and I think it's the one I'm gonna use quite a bit. Now, speaking of those cameras, there is a brand new camera array for the Galaxy Note uh, 20 line. Now, the one of the cameras is similar to what we found, of course, with the Galaxy S20 Ultra. It's got a 108 megapixel sensor, uh, but we also do have laser focus, dual pixel as well with this to capture much better and a 50X zoom. Another cool new feature within the Pro app is the ability to have cinematic style zooms where you can easily zoom into an object and snap right back without having that jerky feel altogether. Plus the camera is gonna give us some really new imagery for the Galaxy Note line and even surpassing probably that of the Galaxy S20 Ultra itself. And now the fifth and final feature is one I think is totally awesome. It's the fact that your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra becomes your own portable Xbox console. 
Yeah, you heard me. Yeah, it's a portable. Nah, I'm, I'm just joking. I'm talking about wireless decks and why it's really important and how it's going to change the way you look at this device. So Dex was, it was a great feature where you could plug in your Galaxy uh, device and it gives you a desktop-like experience. Now you can do it wirelessly from your couch and cast it over to your TV for say. And you've got the ability to navigate around you know, browse the web, watch videos, all that kind of fun stuff. But as you guys know, I am a gamer and the fact that Microsoft and Samsung have partnered together to offer Xbox Game Pass for three months free if you go ahead and pre-order yourself a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is truly great. So for me, that's fantastic. And Game Pass starts off in September 15th. But you can also, if you're, if you're part of the Project X Cloud community, you already have seen a preview of what that is. And what that means for me is the fact that I can go ahead and fire up Game Pass, or at least in this case now, xCloud, and start playing my games. I've got up to 100 plus games available to play, so which means from my smartphone, I can cast to my TV and go ahead and select a game like Tekken 7 and start duking it out with an Xbox controller nonetheless and start playing. That is truly awesome. Plus, I can pick up and go and continue just gaming on the go because it's a 5G device as well. I've got some cool stuff with 5G coming up soon. I'm just gonna tease that quickly. But those are some really cool features on this device, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And I think there are a ton more features that I can't wait to show you. I think it, this device packs a lot in terms of functionality and what it brings to the table. Uh, and I'm sure you guys will be excited to see more. So let me know what you'd like to see from the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I'm sure you guys want a speaker test, we'll do that. Um, in terms of charge tests, it's still the same charging times, but all that fun stuff will drop them for you. Of course, it will be a gaming video. So let me know what you guys would like to see. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave your comments down below, and always enjoy your entertainment.